What's good, YouTube? And welcome to Gamer's Choice Presales being up on Duelist Nexus. Now, Tier Zero is going to take a little bit to get theirs up, mainly because the warehouse next to theirs looks like this. They're in a really bad situation. They will be setting up a temporary location for Duelist Nexus and handling those presales, but other orders are obviously going to be taking a delay. They're going to be condition checking things, and it might smell a little smoky when you get it in. Other than that, let's go ahead and get into this. Live reacting completely. I've not looked at prices, and the synchro stuff seems to be on the top demand, and conversations in my Discord have a lot of different perceptions on quarter century secret wares and how they should price up and help cheapen things in the set. I think the overall chop up estimated value pulled is going to have a ton of junk quarter century rares where battles got to hand pick theirs a lot of collectible outside of like the x-tox hydra and they're overperforming, starting to go up again like hard earth dragons and number monster this is a max rarity number monster volcanics have support coming spiral was a top deck dante super remembered going up in the eu right now as we covered a lot of meta engines not even peaking over a hundred so with junk ones i expect prices even under maybe junk collector rares these should be around three per case if it's the same model not a hundred percent on that so i think they'll be cheaper and cards in the set will still be somewhat expensive and sought after and the really good quarter century rares i expect to be probably under starlight pricing but like not like super cheap either kind of like battles where the good ones are above 200 let's go ahead and look at the deck cores first that'll tell us a lot about how things are and the synchron deck core again you can use code what's good five for five percent off and to support the channel directly making it cheaper for you is around 200 i heard a lot of estimates hoping for this to be at 45 but expecting 60 that somewhat lines up it looks like they've actually numbered out the uh synchros too i know people will want the good old zulk and looking guy and alter guys for 15 what what rarity did everything land in there i actually have not seen all the rarity reveals today so this is going to be my first time also reacting to that on top of it quarter century rares though we know are going to be every secret and ultra so this is going to be me figuring out also which is which let's go ahead and go by price high to low and this is the import at just 150 and we have 250 i saw people estimating this should be 200 plus but it's more of a collectible kind of card which again in a high rarity and a debut i could see it being worth a little something something but it still might be overshooting in my opinion i think uh the a purely noir it's pretty cool to see here in a high rarity to go along with the ots pack versions and this will be sought after this makes a lot of sense to be on top and being on top at just 250 is very interesting because it seems like Gamer's Choice really has their head in the game. I did not talk with them at all on quarter century rares. Now, I don't think this many... Oh, actually, okay. I, I was assuming there would be more above 100. It looks like they really do have their head on straight on trying to price this for pre-sales. Now, maybe a bit too many. Uh, they're, they're still good cards. Okay. We'll, we'll continue to go through and see what their bottom out pricing is on quarter century rare. Towards 50 playing it somewhat safe i again i think some junk ones will go all the way down into like 20 and under so i would shop with your head not with fomo on these cards a draw card being 50 is interesting though this was revealed secret in the set well, let's actually go through these one by one and see if it's kind of the right order because crimson dragon and the revolution synchron those make sense right a purely noir makes sense collectible gasserino I think it could be more towards like 80, 60. Because when we look at battles, right, this is already down towards 60. And it's got the Dark Magician collectability. But people do like a revamp modern take and people seem hype. But I still in my head say 80 feels like it's what would be pushing it. But these two, I think, are more so about the right. The Visas deck, Pack has people excited for that. People were excited for it outside of Pack Unchained. I think this could be a little cheaper, but it is exciting to see it here in the set. You have the Runic card updating. Noble Knight stuff, and getting multiple high rarities. I could see those going together around maybe 80s more so. But again, then I see a lot of falling out. So when it comes to this set, it is very interesting what's what. Oh, Charmer though. Okay. Now, the secondary one non-Links aren't doing the craziest best, but still in the line of being that... 
I think that could end up going up versus pre-sales. Or 6-9, nice. I saw people making fun of the name Lars on Twitter earlier. I'm sorry to be a child with that, but it is funny. Uh, fusion Armament. Reveal a fusion monster in your extra deck and special summon one of the fusion materials mentioned on it from your extra deck or graveyard, but till the end of your opponent's turn, it can't attack. Effects are negated. You can only activate one. This is probably long-term going to do well for itself, so this might actually be shooting a little bit under where it could be at, but versus the set coming out, estimated value pull chop up, how things are going to go. And maybe, maybe it's about right. I mean, Gamer's Choice is really good at chopping up prices overall, but I do feel like some of these are high. Arahime here, actually don't know how much this helps uh, Mikanko. Let me know in the comment section down below. That's a deck I've been needing to lab. Whenever I face it, I am impressed. And then, like I said, this one actually be a little cheap for generic draw card but i have the old player in me that really respects us and an altar guy so it has at least an ultra right okay so let's actually go through the base ultras and secrets and see how they're priced and come back to this to get a better feel overall for what's going on with the set all right so usually i'm able to just go like dual snexus here on the site this is how i pull up for my videos and then i do price high to low so it's gonna be you know the quarter century rares mostly up here i assume above the rest of the set and then we get oh 60 for revolution synchron again that is uh in the range of what people thought it would be the value of a box kind of thing quarter century rares i don't think are going to ding overall the estimated value pulled people think they are because again they're not all going to be icons like battles or you know pieces of history these are newer cards they're not all gonna line up that way i can see why they're pricing towards this i was hoping 50 but 60 makes sense and again the discount code does make it a little bit cheaper uh when it comes to the rest of the set wow how are they pricing this way okay everything else is 20 and under uh that seems a bit cheap to me ultra rare and noir uh, okay, so Ultra Rare Noir, I would have thought this would be towards 18, but 20 makes sense. I think Crimson Dragon, even if you're doing one-ups in the extra deck, probably shooting a little under where it could be. Secret Rare Dark Corridor, which people are going to want multiples of, I think could have been priced towards 30. The Visas here as well. Dude, everything 20 and under... I don't understand how they hit this estimated value pull chop up unless they really believe they're going to blow out all their quarter century rares at being a little overpriced. I, I think people going for things in the set are going to be eating relatively well and uh, big thumbs up for how it's priced so realistically mayhaps. Uh, yeah, a $5 fusion armament. Okay, gamer's choice, doing it good, doing it big. I'm a happy boy. The last thing I actually did want to do on camera after a big thumbs up reveal here is, uh, wow, everything else five and under. Threes already. Okay. This is pretty good. Gamer's Choice coming out swinging early. I would definitely get on the early pre-sale. Sometimes they are already up by the time I put my video up from traffic. I shout this out on Discord as well as on Twitter. I actually wanted to talk about averages and estimated value pulled to get rid of conceptions. I was going to do this real quick. We're going to go by the black uh, text here on screen, not the market price, which may be just a little under. But I wanted to talk averages because, oh, the quarter century rare they're really going to help the value of this set well let's actually average out all 25 here real quick right so we're going to be adding them up at their current ish price some of them are probably a little above this and 75 we've got 62 i probably should have done this off camera and was about to before the video but i wanted to show like you have to open about 8.3 cases at three of these per case to see all 25 right so for that we're going to be looking at how it really affects when doing pre-sales the estimated value pulled because i think gamers choice kind of overshot if that makes sense. I think they over expect it to do some polling and maybe they're right being the first pre-seller up, but I, I expect the average to be somewhere more towards like with the junk ones, quote unquote, 
maybe in the 40s and I wanted to see what the actual average was here because they're pulling up but they're also iconic slash new release slash you know for the set pretty overall good so I wanted to see what the average quarter century rare was in battles not to ramble too much and go from there x tox and the teller knight are the lowest two which i'm actually surprised where the teller knight is so that's at 26 and we have this at 28 and then we're going to divide this by 25 and we're at 80 see some people in the discord were saying i expect the average to be like towards 150 no shot gamers choice already with a much more realistic expectation towards that and putting a lot down towards 50 but their average is likely at the time of listing higher than this because of how it's priced up you only have four really treading far above a hundred here right on battles and these are icons because we're already here in a, a, like assault synchron it's a really liked card it's really expected to do well it might even go up with the set and then the labyrinth stuff they are also really loved it's a meta deck and then we get into all these different ones which do have collectability I don't think that you're going to see the same number in a core set. I think you're going to see a lower average number in a core set, and you're only going to see three of these per case, and that number is likely lower than this per case in alleviating the singles. So I do think that you are going to see some higher single prices still, and this number, again, likely to be a good deal lower overall. Let me know what you think, though in the comment section down below are you grabbing anything on pre-sales i think gamers choice kind of overshot and stuff is already selling out and there goes the collectible one so maybe i'm eating my words live here i'll upload this as fast as possible so you all can get on the deals thanks for watching everybody